Karnataka just made a move that actually captures the state's new identity, not just India's tech hub, but India's compute capital. It approved a 300-acre gigawatt scale data center park in Tavarakere. And on the same development arc, it's rolling out four next-gen satellite cities designed around AI research and innovation. While other states are pitching tax holidays and free land, Karnataka is doing something far harder, re-architecting geography around compute, talent and intelligence infrastructure. The Tavarakare Data Park isn't a standalone project. It's actually the root node of a distributed AI infrastructure model. A 1,000 acre acquisition with 250 to 300 acres dedicated to, well, a hyperscale hub wired into 25 to 30 megawatt edge data centers across Mysuru, Hubuli, Belgavi, and beyond. Instead of building one giant AI city, Karnataka is actually building a compute constellation, a hub and spoke network serving workloads where data lives, lives oh, sorry, and economies rise. Because, well, clearly in the AI economy, latency is currency and proximity is power. So this is how you actually build sovereign compute, not just racks of GPUs, but urban systems orbiting intelligence infrastructure. So when we step back a little, the vision becomes clearer. And here it is. Quinn City, universities, hospitals, research parks. Swift City, startups, fintech, innovation clusters. AI City, 9,000 acre intelligent township for AI industries. Quantum City, deep tech and quantum research campus. These are actually not just real estate brochures. They are actually macro bets on what India must specialize in next. That is talent production, sovereign compute, frontier research, startup acceleration, deep tech manufacturing, and a future where Bengaluru is in the tech capital alone. Karnataka becomes the compute state. So like all ambitious development waves, this one carries friction. Well, farmers in Sarjapur and Bidhi are protesting. Urban planners warn that clustering too close to Bengaluru could widen regional inequality. And that's the governance test. Can Karnataka actually create new economic gravity without hollowing the hinterland? Because the next decade isn't just about cities competing. It's actually about states competing for compute, talent and capital. And of course, that brings us to this, which is for 30 years, India built IT parks and called it progress. Now, the game has changed. Today's infrastructure isn't just glass towers and tech parks. It's sovereign data grids, edge compute rings, quantum labs and AI cities and Karnataka is betting that the future of economic power belongs to the places that control wealth, data, compute, and talent density. Where Silicon Valley built the internet, Karnataka wants to build the intelligence backbone of India. If it works, Bengaluru won't just scale. It will actually clone itself. If it fails, I hope not, the lesson will be equally important. Either way, this is the boldest city building experiment in India's technology history. In a world fighting for GPUs, Karnataka is building the land where the GPUs will live.